<laughs> this is gonna be i don't think it'll be a train wreck but i don't think it'll be good if that makes sense i do not have any pets my roommate has a cat but it's not technically mine so and i don't see it that often because it's downstairs usually and i'm usually upstairs what is the time save for boskip i've been told the trick it saves the trick itself saves about a minute 30 and then the risky fights we do at the end also save uh, a bit of time I don't know exactly how much. It's very RNG dependent how much you would potentially save if you win at all. But it adds a significant amount of RNG to the run. Not to mention, like, you know, we still do the same anti guys unit fight. So that's not. It's not technically risky, but it is because smashing. I don't know if I'm going to stick with this. I'm kind of just, like, trying it out because I'm getting a little fed up with the margins I have with, uh,. The route I am using, and I I just want a 313, man. I don't even care if I don't even care if I'm using a route that saves like two minutes and I only get a 30 second PB. Like I just want the 313. <laughs> There's some wild potential strats that I have. I need. I'm gonna have to. I have a couple competing strats that I don't know what's gonna be fastest. The wildest includes ultra rank ultra rank Goombario. I'll have you know. Okay. Well. Wish coins are the bane of my existence. Oh my god. <laughs> that was terrible. But it's fine. I like when work pays for my food. <laughs> Yesterday... Okay, I, I really shouldn't complain. Because I had steak last night. I really... And it was a New York strip. <laughs> I really shouldn't complain because it was free. But I ordered it medium uh, rare. And it came out like medium well. But it was free and it was still good. So... <laughs> So any percent, the way that it basically works is you uh, you don't beat any you don't actually beat any of the chapters except for the last one. Uh, so the way that that category works is you uh, so you, you beat prologue, you play chapter one long enough to get Cooper and Bombette, and then you do a trick that lets you skip chapter one and go straight to chapter two. You get Paracarry, and then you leave chapter two, do a trick uh, called Blue House Skip (BHS) that lets you skip straight to chapter 5. Oh, I guess you technically beat chapter 5, but you skip the boss at the end. And then after you beat chapter 5, you do a glitch two times that basically lets you advance the chapter you're in to the next one called Peach Warp. And then you play through chapter 8. There's like some skips. There's like, I'm glossing over some skips in the middle that skip like parts of chapters. But uh, And then you go fight the end game bosses at level two and level up to three and four for final bowser and pray that the game lets you win <laughs> whereas in all bosses uh we beat the chapters in the order one three five four two six seven eight for reasons that aren't like it's hard to explain it like all at once but it is overall faster skipping cutscenes and stuff um but it's a very different way to go about it run killers with the route change mostly um a little bit junior chapter 8 junior not quite as much him uh, but mostly hallway and final Bowser are the two big ones uh, but if they work they should be faster imagine how it smells like all the stale murky water that water isn't even very blue it's like gray premiere is good I've never used Vegas but I have used premiere and I like premiere most people have heard say that premiere is better so but maybe not as easy to get started with not that I'm the one editing the videos, but I feel like my A button is wearing out on my controller. Maybe from mashing it so much. For those who don't know, this is Preds. Guess the order of the badges that'll be in the badge shop. And if you guess right, uh, and you don't have a sub, I will gift you one. For specifically looking, looking for speedy spin. Alright, time's up. No! D down for strike multi. Gotta, re gotta reload the badge shop. This is the Charlieton of this game. Oh yeah, that's the trick. This is the trick that skips to chapter five. Just kind of jump in the blue house. <laughs> like in most services that have uh, uh, notifications about something, this one usually one of the first things that I do is turn off email alerts, especially if it's something where I'm also getting uh, push notifications. It's just redundant. Dude, I like how the shy guy completely fails at his job to guard that badge and then like I, I leave and he's just like eh whatever life continues on I'm gonna dance about I'm gonna dance I'm probably I, I'll probably trigger people just by saying this I very rarely if ever delete emails 
My inbox probably has like tens of thousands of emails in it. I mark them as red, but I don't delete them. Which is, I mostly do just because on the off chance that I want to search for them later. All right, we now have the super boots, which means we have fulfilled our only purpose for coming into the mansion and we'll now peace out. I guess technically I could cho choke bow skip too, but I don't think I will. No, I'm choking. Yeah, we're definitely not getting the full time save. But we got a second try. I forgot. I forgot a lot of things, man. Okay, that's not. <laughs> that is not all the time save either. We'll get more time save. Dude, the fact that this isn't even my best ever run. We'll still get a lot of time save because I start this split later than normal too. But. <laughs> Not the greatest, but I have never noticed any issues. Okay, this is going to be another big gold. This is the full time save that I'm getting from Bow Skip, and that's with a bad record skip, so I'm not seeing the full potential. But yeah, now we're a minute three ahead. <laughs> it's my best ever run by 28 seconds, and it's not even a good run. Dude, multiple monitors are a must. Like, I could get away with two. I could, I could survive with two, but... <laughs> I uh, Okay, if I wasn't streaming, I think I would... I don't think I would care to have four. But the fourth monitor having, whoops, being able to have a three monitor set up, like unconnected, or yeah, like completely connected, but then also having a fourth monitor on the other side of the TV is like pretty clutch. All right, if you've never seen an all bosses, this is an all bosses exclusive trick. So if I get it quickly, which is kind of hard to do, it'll be sweet. Uh, that's a little iffy. Okay, it worked kind of hard to get on the seam there. Nice. That was really, really good. That is Lava Prawn out of bounds. The Joy-Con D-pad is definitely better than the Pro Controller one. But I don't know. Like, why are D-pads so hard to make? Why, why can no company ever make, like, the perfect controller? There's always got to be something wrong. PS4 is probably my fa overall favorite. I don't know. Switch Pro could have been my favorite if it had um, a PS4 D-pad, analog shoulder buttons in addition with the digital, and notches for the for notches through the analog stuff. If it had those three things, I think Pro Controller would be my favorite. But because it doesn't, I think PS4 is my favorite. I'm literally using a GameCube controller. Excuse me, and it is not the perfect controller. Have you tried using the D-pad on it? Also, the C-Stick is, like, suboptimal. There, I said it. Alright? Don't get me wrong, I love the GameCube controller. At this point, I've used it more than any other controller, I think. Don't have sweaty- I don't have sweaty gamer hands. I literally- Look at this stuff. I wear this stuff- Oh, you can't really see it because of the camera. But I literally- literally, literally put this stuff on the- It's like hand antiperspirant. Honestly, it's like clutch. It's not lube, it's like the opposite. <laughs> it's literally the opposite. Go uh, on Amazon, search Carpe Antiperspirant. Um, so I'm currently routing and figuring out a category that I'm kind of making up, but people seem to be on board with, uh, which is Glitchless Unrestricted, which if you're familiar with uh, like the concept in uh, Zelda runs, another, I mean, some games call it a uh, bug limit. The basic idea is, as long as what you're doing is in and of itself not a glitch, the results aren't a glitch. Basically, you can do BHS, because there's nothing inherently glitchy about it. It's just it lets you skip to chapter 5, which is going to be kind of wild. But I'm like kind of currently routing that. And I don't remember why I was talking. I don't even remember why I brought that up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't figure they would. I didn't get the stinky herb! Why? Why am I going up here? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot. What? <gasps> Why did the hammer not grab that? <laughs> it's falling apart. Like, is this retirement pace? I don't know. Probably not. But if it, if I got good RNG at the end and finished, maybe. Was I supposed to get two yellow berries again? Talk to Rosie, talk to Posey. I was supposed to get two yellow berries again. I'm just going to get two blueberries again and hope that that's good enough. This is weird and probably not going to work how I want it to. But then I remember that I used the blueberry. Oh heck, we got top step. This runs back. Everybody, this is a guaranteed PB. Okay, we're at 12 HP. Block if at 12 to get to 9. Cool. Charge do nothing. 
Go for five on the wind if at nine. Charge swap to Paracarry. Block if at four. And then five cap. Okay, or we can do that and the run's dead. I don't have a life stream, do I? Well, that sucks. That was 100% out of my control. Other than the fact that I should have saved. F's in the chat for the run.